Hey, how's it going? So I'm making this video because I finally figured out how to properly use Cloudinary to do three things. Edit my images as in put in a an overlay, like a watermark on them. I am also re adjusting the size of the dimensions. So I'm making sure that no images are wider than 1200 pixels. And I'm also compressing the images all in one go. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now. So this is just a test, so that's why I have this set variable. And this is just an image, and I'm using this so I can go through the steps while using a variable so that you can see that it works. But in a regular instance, you would have your own, you'd have multiple steps, and then and then the variable that you would use would be, you know, the steps that you've already set up. So basically what's happening is that this item is getting the source from right here or wherever else it'll get it, but it should be a URL, just like I have it here, a publicly accessible URL. That's very important. It can't be private or else it can't access it. Then just add, enter these parameters. Don't if, if it's a URL, you're going to do URL, but if it's a like a get file and then typically get file gets like a binary code, um, that's, what, that's when you would have this base 62 thing, but this is a URL, so that's it. And then just add image right here and that's it. And then make sure that this is upload and that's all you need oh by the way obviously you need to go to cloud nary and create an account and it's a free account that i'm using and i'm able to test this with the free account i'm probably going to pay after a while but right now i'm not paying anything and uh, you need three things you need your secret key you need like uh, your organization key or something like that and then you need the api key but it's all really easy to find on your dashboard all right anyway after we're done with this then it'll go over here to transform. I love this tool because all I have to do is set these parameters. And all I did was to go to ChatGPT and just basically ask it to do it for me. So where was I? So it just printed out the, exactly what I wanted. I wanted it to do three things, so resize it. So I guess this is the one that makes sure that it's the max width is this much. I, this is my watermark. Oh, and to add the watermark, you need to add the image manually to your this account and then grab the the image ID. And when you click on your image, after you upload it, it'll just say the image ID. You can click it and copy it. And then this tell, tells the the this whole thing that I want the watermark on the lower right side, 20 pixels from the edge, and I want it to scale it down. So scale it down to 220 pixels max width. Perfect. So that's exactly what I want. Click save. Oh, and obviously, this is going to bring in the resource type that we already put in here. And this is going to bring the public ID that of this image brings it right in there. Click save. And then you need this get a, get a file and it's going to get the URL that this spits out. And now once you get it, then you can send it to wherever you want. In this instance, I'm just adding it, sending it to my Google drive. But if you wanted to upload it to WordPress instead of Google drive, you'll just have WordPress and then it, you'll upload it like that. So that's it. I just want to make this video because I found it took me a while to figure this out and I didn't find a lot of resources on this. So here you go. You're welcome.